Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. Please uh, have your seats, and, and uh, it is an honor to be here as Tom was making his remarks and talking about um, the idea that Midland is now in the space business. And you think about the juxtaposition of the uh, commemorative Air Force and now this extraordinary facility, and you can see the past in Midland, and you can see the future in Midland. And that, I think, is a, an extraordinary juxtaposition, but also uh, a, a great message for not only the citizens of this area of the state, but for not just the state of Texas, but for the world. You know, thinking uh, back, Tom, when we served in the legislature uh, together representing West Texas, I'm not sure that 25 years ago, as you were mentoring me as a young member of the legislature, that either one of us thought about Midland and space travel in the same sentence. But today, that is becoming a reality. This is, as Tom shared with you, a great day for Midland, a huge step forward for the state of Texas. We couldn't be happier that XCOR uh, is coming to the Lone Star State, and we couldn't be prouder that um, their new research and development center will be here in Midland, Texas. This is a tremendous accomplishment for the Midland economic development uh, community. Yes, you may. The, uh, the folks right here at, uh, uh, at the Midland uh, Airport, the um, Economic Development Corporation. Uh, so, and the, and the council that today met and, and made some very uh, important decisions. I, I just wanted to be here and to add my congratulations to a very substantial uh, number of congratulatory calls and expressions that you will receive today. You know, Texas has always played a major role, uh, Judge, in the, the uh, role of the world space race. Johnson Space Center uh, was the center of the United States space program for over half a century, serving as both an incubator and a think tank alike for multiple generations of our country's finest scientists, theorists, engineers, pilots. Texas made a natural fit for those early day space exploration uh, experts. I happen to think it was a perfect fit because of the history of this state. And you think about the values that are required to make space travel a reality. Determination, innovation, a drive to accomplish something that no one else has ever done. Texas and our nation's earliest space explorers shared that pioneer spirit, a spirit that lives on today in innovative companies like XCOR right here in Midland, Texas, Blue Origin out in Father West Texas at Van Horn, and maybe someday soon, SpaceX in Brownsville. So once again, Texas is a perfect fit for anyone seeking to achieve the unachievable. Part of what makes Texas such an appealing destination for high-tech companies like this one, or as Tom shared with you, for any company for that matter, is our world-class economic climate. Over the years, with the help of legislators like Speaker Craddock, Tom was one of the real catalysts back in 2003 as we put Texas on a trajectory uh, to put us into orbit, so to speak, uh, in, in, the, in the grand environment of economic superiority. We built a place where employers know they're safe to invest and to watch their business grow. We built a place where they won't be hindered by exorbitant taxes wrapped up in bureaucratic red tape or find themselves at the mercy of predatory trial lawyers. We built a place with a world-class workforce that's capable of fulfilling whatever needs an employer has, whether that's producing a life saving vaccine, whether it's coding a successful video game, or figuring out how to send payloads into orbit. We've created an economic environment that has consistently drawn major employers to our state. And we've also convinced others to 
expand substantially their presence here. Cutting edge companies like Apple and eBay and Facebook and Samsung have taken root in Texas. They clearly like what they see here. All of this has helped us earn the title of best state to do business in the nation for the eighth year in a row, according to Chief Executive Officer Magazine. It's also helped us be the top exporting state for 10 years in a row. Visionary companies choose Texas because they know that innovation is what fuels their business, but that innovation is fueled by freedom. And here in Texas, we'll continue to work hard to foster an environment that protects those freedoms better than anywhere else in the globe. And that's great news for companies like XCOR, but it's even greater news for the 100 new employees that will soon fill their facility. These are good jobs, good jobs for Texas, the kind of jobs that we can build the state's future on, jobs that represent just a fraction of the sort of potential this country and this industry hold in store. We realized quite a few years ago that Texas needed to prepare itself to be more competitive in the high-tech world, in those economies that were out in front of us. We realized that unless we began preparing significantly, jobs like the ones that we are announcing today would pass Texas by. So we fostered our aerospace and aviation industries, and we invested heavily in high-tech sectors like the next generation energy sector and in biotech. The results of those investments continue to be felt. And it's exciting for me uh, to not only be a participant, but to continue to work with men and women like Tom Craddock and our Texas legislature that share that vision for a better Texas for future generations yet to be born. And Tom, just a few weeks ago, I was over in Boston to discuss Texas' role in this surging employment sector called biotech. I got a chance to explain to some folks across the country, literally around the world, why Texas was doing it right. And I told them it's, it's really pretty simple. We created a fertile climate where innovators are free to create, nurture their ideas, and then government get out of the way and let the private sector do what the private sector does best, which is create jobs, which in turn create wealth. About the same time I was sharing with the, uh, my, my MIT guys over here, my Air Force Academy grads, that that same Monday that I was in Boston talking about Texas and the biotech future, the Department of Health and Human Services, the federal agency, announced Texas A&M would be home to a center for innovation in advanced development and manufacturing. That's a center that will rapidly develop and manufacture vaccines and therapies to help secure our country from the threat of bioterrorist attack and pandemics. So whether you're on the cutting edge of biotech, communications, commerce, our privatized efforts to serve the needs of the next generation of space explorers. You will find Texas at the forefront of that effort. So once again, I want to congratulate everyone, not just in this audience, but in the sound of, of my voice, in Midland and the surrounding area, for your contribution to helping XCOR find its new home in Midland, Texas. And I look forward to this company and the cutting edge exploration that it will do, the jobs that it will create, and for putting Texas' name again back in space. God bless you and thank you all for allowing me to come.